20CR4009, People v. Pickford. May I have appearance of counsel, please? Kathy Forrest for McKenna Burr on behalf of the people. Michelle Fitzgerald for Victor Short on behalf of Ms. Pickford, who is present out of custody with the phone. Good afternoon. And Ms. Pickford, are you able to hear me and the attorneys? Yes, sir. If at any point you have any difficulty hearing anything, if the audio cuts out and you're not sure what was said, would you please let me know immediately? I will. Thank you. The matter is set for arraignment. Are we ready to proceed? The defense is not ready to proceed. Mr. Short emailed instructions to me to indicate that he needs additional time to speak with Ms. Pickford in order to address how she wants to proceed with arraignment and the pending request to modify the protection order. And so Mr. Short is to continue arraignment to this Friday at 1.30. Give me just one moment, please. I'm not aware that there was any motion to modify the protection order. If so, it's not in the court file. I haven't seen it. Do you have any objection if we continue the arraignment until Friday, Ms. Forrest? Dude, I can't! I'm literally- I'm in court right now! Stop! I can't right now! You need to wait! Dude! Boy, stop it! What's the issue and concern? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, the reason I've the, the reasons I've been requesting that the uh, protection order be modified from the previous 15 feet to hopefully 100 yards is because Miss Pickford was evicted from the apartment building because of her assault in June, and uh, she has been constantly present within the building. Uh, partying and using drugs in the apartment next door to me and across the hall 
and another apartment uh, further down the hall from my unit. She has been ranting and trying to rally friends to join in her attack on my son and myself, pledging to kill the crippled sorry bitch and the sorry cracker baby. That's been her repeated chant for months now since the June assault. She in fact woke me up, you know, from sleep on the morning of October 7th at about 4 a.m. screaming again about killing the myself and my son. So that's why there's the investigation for the violation of protection order because she is continuing to obsess over atta attacking my son and myself. This obsession is, began a year and a half ago and has been escalating ever since and has been violent since June. My son and I fear for our safety and are receiving help from the Homeless Coalition of Colorado to relocate hopefully to a safer area within Denver Metro. I'm not safe as long as Ms. Pickford is allowed to be right outside my apartment door issuing threats and trying to rally other neighbors to the cause of attacking my family. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Sages. Mr. Short's indication um, to me was that he just received notice of his request today. Um, and that's why he was requesting Ken to discuss this new information with Ms. Pickford. Um, if, if the court would be amenable, um, I, I understand that this Dr. Shop had been waiting. Um, I don't know if the court would consider delaying ruling on this until Friday so that Mr. Short could appear and then this care shop wouldn't have to um, wait around again. Uh, if not, what I can tell the court is I really don't know much about the case or the potential defense, and I'm sorry. Um, but I, I don't think that I, I am prepared to make an argument on this. Um, I just heard about it right now uh, in terms of what the claims are. Well, please let Mr. Short know I'm going to make a ruling today. If uh, Again, uh, unless it's something that I can't envision, uh, the fact that he's on the record uh, in 4G for an hour doesn't make any sense to me on a docket day. Um, but if you want to text Mr. Short or email him and let him know I'm going to rule on this, and if he wants to be present and make any statements on behalf of Ms. Pickford, I'm happy to consider them. Um, I'll wait for another couple of minutes. But uh, I'm not, we've already waited, uh, goodness, uh, 45 minutes, and I'm just not going to continue to wait. So if Mr. Short can pull himself away from whatever's happening in 4G, I'm happy to hear his position, but Otherwise, I'll rule today. Sure, I will let him know that, Judge. And I, I just, it sounds like it was back to back cases. And my guess is that it had to do with the order that the sheriff brought people on foul. And... Well, I still know how dockets work, but, and I'm sure if Mr. Short lets a Judge Elif know that he's needed in 5H, that Judge Elif won't mind if he pops out for a minute. And I'm just messaging him now.
Are you with us, Mr. Short? Yes, Your Honor. I apologize. I was in front of Judge Ellis for the last hour or so. Um, I understand that Ms. Pickford is on the line. Uh, Ms. Pickford is on the line. Uh, Ms. Kirchhoff is on the line. There was a request to continue the arraignment until Friday. Uh, there was also a request that uh, Ms. Forrest raised to modify the protection order. Dude, we're try almost and done, I promise. No! Stop! We're Kirchhoff almost done. Wants. And then if Ms. Kirchhoff wants to add anything to that, uh, she's welcome to do so. As the protection order currently exists, uh, Ms. Pickford is permitted to have access to the uh, apartment complex uh, located at 3999 North Colorado Boulevard, the Renaissance North Colorado Station. Uh, I need to hear this. Stop. Requirement that uh, she remain uh, at least 15 uh, feet from uh, Ms. Kirchhoff. Ms. Kirchhoff is requesting that that be uh, modified to extend the distance to 100 yards. Uh, Ms. Kirchhoff indicated that uh, there was currently some, and Ms. Forrest, that there was some investigation underway about an alleged violation of the protection order. Ms. In short, what Ms. Kirchhoff indicated that, is that uh, Ms. Pickford um, had, is no longer residing at that building, but is um, at apartments uh, adjacent to or contiguous with her apartment um, and um, has continued to uh, allegedly make threats towards uh, Ms. Uh, Kirchhoff, calling her uh, by insensitive uh, racially charged uh, terms uh, and that and threatening her and that allegedly Ms. Pickford uh, at some point I don't know that I got the date but on, at some point awakened uh, Ms. Uh, Kirchhoff uh, at four in the morning uh, apparently outside of Ms. Uh, Kirchhoff's apartment um, making threats or using uh, racially charged uh, epithets uh, that were being uh, expressed towards Ms. Uh, Kirchhoff. If you want to add anything to that, uh, Ms. Kirchhoff, uh, if I didn't summarize it correctly or <coughs> accurately, feel free to do so. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, this occurred on October 7th. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, one one moment, I need a mom moment. Honey, I need to talk right now. I, I, no, I do not. I need to talk right now. Then where is it? I don't know, I don't have it. I apologize. Um, my my five-year-old is on right now standard time. Um, anyway, um, as I was saying, um, this occurred on October 7th when she woke me up at four in the morning screaming and making threats and trying to rally support. Uh, she's at the building frequently and uh, quite often intoxicated as she was on October 7th. She was slurring speech very badly and uh, her companions making comments about, here, let me help you stand up. So she's a very significant threat to myself and my son. She's been obsessing over our demise since uh, spring of 2019 when another neighbor had a sexual affair with somebody that Ms. Pickford is dating. I was at that time uh, doing taxi rides for neighbors. Uh, my son and I recently escaped from human trafficking and I was trying to earn some money to support us so I was you know giving rides to neighbors and one of those neighbors who also fled the building for her safety because of Miss Pickford uh, had the sexual affair with Miss Pickford's significant other and since I was vaguely involved with this neighbor, Ms. Pickford 
uh, carried her obsession on to myself and my son, cornering us in the hall very often in the past year and a half and screaming threats and started becoming violent in June. In addition to that, she and her mother performed a hit and run on my minivan on July 4th weekend. I had a witness to that who police uh, neglected to question. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Was there any for, uh, any response that you'd like to uh, make, Mr. Short? Your Honor, well, if true, those allegations are so problematic. Defense counsel learned of these allegations and this request for modification less than an hour or two ago. Counsel has not had time to adequately speak with Ms. Pickford regarding the accusations made in this case, and it would be defense counsel's request, and I think uh, under due process she's entitled to this, more time to prepare to address these allegations and the modification of bond. And any potential issue, the change in the protection order would have on this Pickford living situation or any type of working situation. Uh, for that reason, Your Honor, I'm happy to set this matter a couple of days from now or on Friday if the court would prefer, but quite frankly, without having an opportunity to fully meet with me, but I feel like I have both tied, hands tied behind my back in trying to defend against this accusation. Uh, well, then, can you confirm uh, with Ms. Pickford what I was told uh, before you were on the conference, uh, Mr. Short, is uh, by Ms. Kirchhoff, is that Ms. Pickford is no longer residing at the 3999 North Colorado Boulevard uh, apartment complex, the Renaissance North Colorado Station. Can you confirm uh, with uh, Ms. Pickford whether or not that's accurate? I understand that there were proceedings uh, to have Ms. Pickford evicted. Ms. Pickford, with a simple yes or no, could you please, uh, once you're unmuted, uh, say yes or no whether or not you're still located at that uh, particular apartment? No, Mr. Short. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What I'm going to uh, do then is uh, modify the protection order and uh, I'm going to require that uh, Ms. Pickford remain more than 100 yards from 3999 North Colorado Boulevard, uh, the apartment complex. Um, it is of great concern to uh, hear these allegations, whether they turn out to be uh, the basis of new charges or not, I have no idea, but the 15 feet that was originally ordered uh, with... You know what, Doug? I have no problem with that. I have no you problem know what, with Ms. that. Ms. Ms. Pickford, Ms. Ms. Pickford, um, I would ask that you let the court finish ruling at this time. We will speak further about this and get a new court date set in a moment. You know, Ms. Pickford, there's an old saying uh, that uh, there's... Uh, no way to undo, I'm paraphrasing it, but up no way to undo uh, a first impression. And I'm not getting a good a first, I'm getting a really bad first impression because you've repeatedly interrupted me, uh, not listened to what I've said. And uh, when anybody is speaking, but particularly the court, it's not your place to jump in and interrupt me. So as I was trying to say before, Ms. Pickford interrupted me, uh, I am going to enter a protection order within a, a hundred yards of that uh, building. Ms. Pickford, if she wants to associate with or hang out with people who reside there, that's absolutely Ms. Pickford's business, uh, but they can do it at someone else's location or residence at Ms. Pickford's residence. Um, uh, they can do it anywhere else apart from 3999 North Colorado Boulevard. So uh, the court will modify the protection order. Uh, if we're setting the arraignment over, Mr. Short, I will modify the protection order to that effect. If uh, we're setting the arraignment over to Friday, Mr. Short, and you have additional information that you wish to bring to my attention on Friday uh, after talking to Ms. Pickford, I'm more than happy to consider that. Thank you, Your Honor. 
So, uh, Ms. Pickford, um, I just want a yes or a no. I just want to make sure that you understand that I have now modified the protection order and you may not be within 300 feet of the apartment complex or inside any apartment, uh, any common area or anywhere else in the apartment complex. Do you understand yes. that, ma'am? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Did you want this at 1.30 or 8.30, uh, Mr. Short? Your Honor, I'd actually like it at 1.30 if that's available to the court. Sure. Does that work with you, Ms. Forrest? Yes, thank you. All right. Uh, the, uh, we'll reset this for arraignment this coming Friday, October 23rd at 1.30. Ms. Pickford, if you please make I'm sure you write that done. down. It's almost done. It's this coming Friday, almost done, October I promise. 23rd at 1.30. Please use the same phone number and access code. And for Ms. Kirchhoff, sorry for making you and Ms. Pickford wait today. Um, and I'm not blaming Mr. Short. I know how sometimes uh, people get uh, uh, stuck in a series of cases. But what I did want to say is if you have any concerns, Ms. Kirchhoff, about uh, any issues, uh, call 911 and let uh, Denver police handle it. Don't try to take it on yourself. Was there anything further counsel wanted for the record? No, thank you. Not at this time, Your Honor. Thank you. Ms. Pickford will uh, talk to you on Friday, this coming Friday, October 23rd at 1.30. Uh, thank you, ma'am. <sighs> 100 yards from the complex the building, which is 3999 North Colorado Boulevard. Did we have any other uh, matters to call other than failures to appear, folks? Two hours and 17 minutes, y'all. All right, let's get those done. <laughs> Two hours and 17 minutes. Oh, my gosh. I think I'm free to go, though. I think I can log off the phone. Oh, gosh. First is number one. Hey, buddy, come on in, honey. Mommy's all done court. Oh, look. Oh, you found both of your blinky balls, huh? Cool. No, they're called pipe balls. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I I found them behind the microwave. Can Mommy give you that hug? Uh, what? This one only lights up. Oh, that one must have a done battery. Here, yeah. Sorry, bugs. Here, can I give you that hug now? I'm so sorry I made you wait. It was such a big, oh. long wait, but you did such a good Mama. job, even though you had such a hard oh. time sometimes. Pipe ball! <laughs> Pipe balls! At least he's good at finding something to occupy himself. Uh, two hours and 17 minutes is an impressive, amazing feat for a five-year-old little boy who's been through stuff. So, yeah, whew, da. Thank you for bearing with. Well, I'm glad I just I had the recording you. rolling while the oh, case was you're called. A cow, so I do not kick you. Oh, hey, you'd better go though. Take care. Bless you guys. <laughs> <laughs>